shit in your ears. My guy. Let's go! 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 Let's Hold it, hold it, hold it! Hold it, hold it! Hold it, hold it! Switch if you can! Switch if you can! Well done! Quality! That's the one, Isaac! Take a touch, take a touch! Smack it! Time! Time! Chalus! Unlucky, we'll play. Keep it up, boy. Head up, head up. I swear to you, I could be an assistant captain. I don't care about who we're lucky. I'm not lucky. Unlucky, unlucky, we'll go. No freedom. Go! Oh! Unlucky! That's it, boys! Come on! There's no girl that's going to go to the No, 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 in the book, in the book. Don't go. Yeah. That's a pause. Time, time. Time. Who yours? Who yours? Who yours? Oh, what a oh, recovery. Oh, 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 Next, during the half, warm up. 
That midfield, a bit more clinical. When I highlight Kamal like on the left side, I'm really liking it. Highlighting what's going on in the middle, I'm not really liking it. I'm not saying my midfield's not doing a bad job, but the 18 and 14's freedom is going to probably catch us out. So going into the second half, Isaac, if you can, just drop a little bit deeper so we've got extra man in that midfield battle. Just the extra man. That's what I'm even saying. But, but my issue is that you've got certain man coming out and playing next man's role. As I said, you when just When the 8 is coming in, if he's, if he's starting as a 10, sometimes he might start as a 6 and go as a 10. If he does it, all he needs to do is switch. You don't switch need to keep calling my name. Switch roles, that's what I'm saying. We understand that part there. The communication, just translate it. But just know that there has to be an extra, at least an extra body supporting in that midfield. Going off what he said as well, boys, some of us are playing three positions at the same time. There's no man's, there's no Alex's ball, there's no this ball, there's no that ball. We've got to start making sure it's clear. I've seen like three men playing a fullback role today, bro. I've seen five men playing. Uh, and on wing, you've got to be better than that. They like to go short, so you know when we talked about the front three moving, Ilias, just come over centre, you come over edge, I'll be there. If he goes into the fucking corner for the centre back, you push in, so then you push in, Ilias tuck over, and I'll just be there, just block him in, make him go long, and then Ludin can get that ball, whip it in. Yeah, because then we can just reverse and go back into the box. So we're going to do that each side. If it's on your side, yeah, you go in, he goes behind you, and I'm just there. So it's like a little bad line, and they have to go long. Because no one's going to go across the box, let's be real. That's dangerous. So they're going to have to go along, yeah? We're not talking about expressing our creativity. That's not what we do. Last week we didn't do that. The week before we didn't do that. We're better than this. You played these lot before. It's not a team where you can't play against them. Because you are on top of them. But don't get caught out on your own mistakes. If I'm going to highlight anything, arms, I'm liking the movement. And this one has to be a bit more clinical. Especially that little one touch that almost got you through. I like it. My back line, I can't really say much. I feel like you're not doing your team. Keep or come up, be a bit more commanding. Give them the confidence they need knowing that when they look back, you just got the ball. Yeah. If you're playing forward and you see those man coming, turn around, get back to him. Trust him with his feet. We've done that a couple of times. There's nothing yeah. wrong with starting again. Yeah? Just play with confidence, boys. When we create the triangles on the whip, that's when we get okay, our best football. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want Conrad by himself. Ludin can press up. Jalen can join. Do you know what I mean? You can play it out there. Yeah. No, no, no. You see Ludin's going over. I'm just like, all right, I'll drop in, I'll cover. That's just simple little things. Trust me. Again! That's it! 
That's you, Dev, run! Run, Dev! Play him! Play him! Support! Come from what I said! Oh, 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 oh,
This ref? Hey! We should have done it. Bro. Ah. Alex, great game. How'd you feel it went? Oh, I loved it, man. I feel like both teams both went out for it. It could have gone either way, but I'm kind of proud of my team, how we settled into the game, was on top of them. But other than that, yeah, both sides deserve this draw, I think. Nil-nil for most of the game. Two goals in quite quick succession. One point. Do you feel that tells the story of the game? Is it a fair result? I will say a fair result indeed. Uh, some may argue that the, the goal that we conceded was a bit soft, but I personally feel like we should have gone up in this game at least 4-1. Opportunities and I've got to give credit to Fireside for holding it down and letting us just score the one goal. I must say, you look like the favourites for most of the game. A lot of chances missed. What do you put that down to? <sighs> Mate, I just feel like you might overthink it when it comes to trying to finalise where the ball's got to be placed, you feel me? My team is capable of finishing, we've had match results where we've scored more than one goal on many occasions. But sometimes you do get cold feet, but we just got to keep on pushing through and hopefully next time around we're definitely scoring three or four goals to win games. We know how much this game meant for you, a win would have put you back in top four contention. Yeah. How much of a loss is this going to be to your end of the season hopes? Like, every point matters from now, do you feel what I'm trying to say? I mean, one point is a fair result in some sense, but who doesn't want three points at the end of the day? I feel like three points would have definitely said to us, you know what, let's push for third place. But right now we're happy, but we're definitely going to try to push for third. And then finally, who's your personal man of the match, or at least honourable mentions, uh, who really put a graft in today? Oh, it's a bit tough for me, you know what I'm trying to say? I feel like I'm kind of proud as a team performance. Standout player to me, I must say, may come for the midfield. Kind of proud of one of my other players, Carl, that stepped in, got a job done. He understood his role, to his time. But a lot of players deserve a lot of credit, so I'll personally shout them out in the change room. Great performance from your boys, and uh, good luck next week. Appreciate that. Thank you very much for having me. Nadir, yeah. great game. 1-1. One, one. How do you feel it went? Um, well, we played South Tottenham before. They're a good side, they play good football. And you know, we're getting towards the end of the season now, and every point matters, and we both really fought really hard for those three points. It's been a while since I've seen the Sunday League game go into half time at 0-0. No, no. You could just tell what it meant to the boys. Everyone was really trying to go out there. I think we started off a bit slow, but we got into the game. And I think 1-1, one, one, the draw itself was deserved. But, you know, we missed out on some serious points because we do need points towards the end of the season. Big, big decision from the referee towards the end of the second half. Yeah. A penalty, a handball. Do you think that was the right decision? Well, I feel the game, the way it was going, I felt like someone was going to score eventually. But for it to be for a handball was... It was a bit disappointing. I think the ref done well. The atmosphere was big here. There was a lot of players here. He was under a lot of pressure. And I respect that, but sometimes you can't just succumb to you know, the pressure sometimes. I think he should have stuck with his guns. But it was a good penalty. We conceded it. But the boys lifted their heads and they went again. I can't complain. Things happen. You can't always control it. And you know, for us not to score in the first 60, 70th minute, that has to be on us as well. It can't just be that we gave away a penalty. So, a fantastic free kick goal from your number 11. Was that a bit of luck or something you expect from him? Now we've got a few free kick takers. Last game we scored a free kick with Elias as well. This time around it was Conrad. We do train and we do try those things. And you know, big moments, big players. Shout out Conrad. How proud are you of the resilience of your back line? A lot of chances were missed by Fireside and a lot of key defensive interventions were made by your defenders. Is that something that you train together on? So finding a good centre-back partnership is one of the hardest things at times. And I think we find it in Bolu and Dami. They're two strong boys, they both work hard, they're young and they want the best for the club. Bolu, our captain, you can see he leads us, sets us up well. I just feel like we may have got lucky a few times. South Tottenham did have some great chances, but like you said, resilience is everything. And we went to the 90th minute, played as long as we could and we stayed in the game to the last minute and possibly could have won it at the end.